What's up guys, today I'll be doing a unboxing of Elite 37 Seth Rollins, The Undisputed Future. Sorry for that, but this is my first outside unboxing in Florida. So, yeah. So I'm going to do a few more unboxings in the next few days, but it's all on vacation. So, it's you, Seth Rollins. So, this is Elite 37 Seth Rollins, and this is him and his packaging. Here's the side view of the packaging, and you in the back, and it says this is tires from Hell in a Cell 2014, and for, former affiliations, the Shield from Davenport, Iowa, that's Seth Rollins logo, I think, yeah, Seth Rollins logo, signature move, curb stomp, that's obviously outdated, because since, since then the curb stomp has been banned, it's weight 217 pounds, WWE in-ring debut 2012, Height 6 1, so yeah, let's get to the unboxings. Why? We're here, for, right? Yeah, we're for the unboxing. So, I'm just gonna unbox it. I'm gonna record the unboxing. It's tape on here. It's, I don't know why. It's not even that necessary to put tape on here. Why? Comment down below why I think they put tape on here. It's unnecessary. That's what I hate about opening these figures it's just like a pain just to open them now it's freaking tape it's just frustrating this is hard it's hard to do it at a good angle but I'm gonna open it already fell on this, got the cinder block everything, but finally get to see this figure in person, waiting for this figure. Yeah. This is Seth Rollins, so this is why I got this for the updated tire, so uh, let's, let's review the shirt first, which I really don't like, it's just, the figure looks bad. There's the shirt looks bad, but um, this is a black shirt, obviously, and you see that's how you take it off, which sucks to me. And you see, it shows like six pack or something, and I that's why I don't really, that's why I don't really like it. It's just I don't like the how they did the coat. But I'm not really a huge fan of it, but let's see the figure. I only came here for the updated attire. Try to take it off. See if it's a pain. It's actually not that bad. I thought it would take like a few minutes just to take it off. But it's not that bad actually. So now it's just a Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins figure. It's nice. Finally, it's about time to say. And early articulation. Typical of a elite figure. And let's see. Head scan. I don't know if it's new or not, but this is my first Seth Rollins figure with the not with the ponytail. Cause I have the Battle Pack 24 and the Elite 25. But so let's review the arms. This is, has this black wrist tape, which is a little outdated by now. But hey, we finally get a updated Seth Rollins figure without the shield tie. So it's black wrist tape. I'm not wrist tape. I don't know what you call it, but see the arm articulation. And see, it's, it's a little different. I don't know why, it just feels different. I don't know if it's more loose or what. But the body feels different on this stuff. Let's see, articulates. Let's see. Let's see the back. This review is hair, it's the yellow and black, which it's a little outdated since he has, there's barely any yellow on there now, it's just mainly black, but let's review his tattoo. I don't know if it's Japanese or Chinese or what what language is on there. Tell me in the comments below what it says if you know what it says, which I don't know what it says, but it's tattoo. So let's review his tights. They're black. 
and he has this gray, I don't know if it's like white or gray, but it says SR, stands for Seth Rollins, this is Seth Rollins logo as it shows here, except it doesn't say Seth Rollins right below, but he has gray knee pads, I'm pretty sure, and he has these kick pads, black kick pads, gray, gray on them, I don't know if it's socks or something, but that's the figure, but also the accessories. We already reviewed this shirt. So let's review the Money in the Bank briefcase up to date. So it's the Money in the Bank briefcase. It's up to date. It's the new WWE logo in. Of course, it says Money in the Bank and it's gold. And there's a w new WWE logo in the back. I wouldn't really say new, but new word. I guess so. I'll show you the inside, which is nothing special, no contract on it, it's just, it's good money in the bank, I guess, it's fine. Let's do a cinder box, which, fortunately, I don't have a figure with me to show you what he does since I'm on vacation, but, this is, these are cinder blocks, they're gray, of course, so, let's see if, it's how they break, I guess. It's not that hard to break, really. That they go back together pretty easy, so it's not too over comp overly complicated. So let's try to put these back together. I don't know how to sign that. Uh, I don't know if that's how you do it. I don't know how you take that. I think this is right. Wait. I don't know if I'm doing this right. Gosh. I should know if I'm doing this right. Oh wait, let me see. This is how you do I think. Oh my, this is, I don't know why I'm having a hard time just doing this. Whatever, but this is the Elite 37 Seth Rollins figure. Good figure, it's worth getting it for like the close to 20 bucks I got. I got, it cost $18 at Walmart. Walmart prices are cheaper than other stores, but see, it's about time we got to update Seth Rollins figure and update attire. But thanks for watching, guys. Tomorrow I'll do Stephanie McMahon, and then Sunday I'll do Dean Malenko. And sometime I need to do an updated collection video because I haven't done one in a while. But thanks for watching, guys. See you in my next unboxing tomorrow, which is Stephanie McMahon. So, see you guys. Bye.